No beach vacation is complete without a sweet slushy cocktail. The Blue Hawaiian is right up there with the Pina Colada as the ultimate tropical frozen drink. While they look beautiful, the ingredients aren't always the best quality. They're loaded with food dyes and high fructose corn syrup. I wanted to try out an all natural version of the Blue Hawaiian using all natural ingredients, down to the almost fluorescent cherry. In my last video, I showed you how I made my own natural blue curacao. I will link that video in the description box below. I thought this cocktail would be a challenge to see how my blue curacao holds up in a frozen drink. While Coco Lopez is delicious and the industry standard when it comes to these kinds of drinks, I'm opting to make a toasted coconut cream instead to add just a little bit more complexity. I also like that I can adjust the sugar content of my coconut cream since I'll be needing to adjust the standard ratios of this drink. I've made this before in my blizzards and bikinis cocktail this past winter, and I just loved how it turned out. This toasted coconut cream starts with about a third cup of shredded coconut that I'll toast in my oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's lightly toasted, I'll remove it from the oven and set it aside. Next, I'll take a can of coconut cream and pour it into a pot with one tablespoon of demerara sugar, an eighth teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. After about four to five minutes, the coconut cream tastes nice and toasted. Once it's ready, I'll pour the toasted coconut cream and the toasted shredded coconut into my blender and blend it for 30 seconds. Afterwards, I'll strain out the solids and set the toasted coconut cream to chill in the refrigerator. Now to make the pineapple juice. I don't have space in my apartment for a juicer, so I'm just going to dice up a pineapple and toss the pieces into my blender and blend until pureed. Once pureed, I'll strain it through a mesh sieve to collect the juice. I figured if I'm going through all the work to make an all natural version of the Blue Hawaiian, that needs to include the garnish. Maraschino cherries are pretty gross and incredibly processed. For my version, I'm going to be using some sour cherries that I got from the farmer's market. These also make the best brandy cherries in my experience. First, I'll remove the stem and pit and then get to work on the red syrup that they will be infusing in. I wanted to test out this natural food dye that I got for a Campari recipe that I've been working on. It's actually just a jar of cochineal beetles which was the original colorant for Campari until they switched to a more vegan-friendly option. To make the food dye, you need to crush a small amount of the beetles into a fine powder. Once the beetles have been ground, I'll go to work on the simple syrup. I'm just making a standard one-to-one -one simple syrup. Once the sugar is dissolved, I'll go ahead and add in the cochineal. It's such a beautiful, brilliant red color. All that's left to do is to pour it into a jar with my pitted cherries and set it aside to dye the cherries that bright red color. This only took about five minutes to achieve that color. If you let them sit too long, the color will get darker, so make sure to remove them from the syrup after five minutes. Since my all-natural blue curacao doesn't have the staying power of a traditional blue curacao, I'm going to make some blue ice using butterfly pea flower tea. The ice isn't going to impart any flavor, just a bit of a color boost to the curacao. I'm also going to crush the blue ice before adding it to the blender for a smoother finished cocktail. Now that all the components are ready, we can start building this blue Hawaiian in the blender. First, I'm adding a half ounce of the toasted coconut cream, followed by one ounce of pineapple juice. Then one ounce of white rum, and one and a half ounces of my homemade blue curacao. I made this curacao on the drier side, so it won't make this blue Hawaiian overly sweet. Now I'll add a cup of crushed blue ice and blend this on high for about 30 seconds. I noticed a bit of color change due to the pH of the pineapple juice affecting the color of the blue curacao. While the cocktail was blending, I added two drops of this alkaline booster to correct the color. Typically, I would add a small amount of xanthan gum while blending frozen drinks to keep them emulsified and add a creamier texture, but I totally forgot to add it in. Once our Blue Hawaiian is finished blending, I'm going to pour it into my hurricane glass and garnish with the requisite pineapple wedge, cherry, 
and of course, the paper umbrella, as well as a couple pineapple fronds. And while mine is more of a periwinkle blue, it's really delicious, like a vacation in a glass. I think the toasted coconut milk really elevates this drink. It's definitely on the drier side when it comes to these frozen beach drinks, since I only added a small amount of sugar to the coconut cream, and my homemade blue curacao is also on the drier side. I do prefer less sweet cocktails, so this works perfectly for me, but you could always add a little simple syrup to sweeten it up. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe. We're hoping to hit 1,000 subscribers for our one year anniversary on YouTube, which is quickly approaching. See you all soon with another cocktail video. Cheers and have a great week.